I would like to tell a congregation a little story. And on last year, I could walk 20 or 25 feet and my legs would begin to hurt. And I knew right then that something was wrong, Sister Raw, actually wrong with me. I'm Pastor Arthur Bradley, and I'm from Jonesboro, Arkansas. We started the church about 22 years ago. This was one of the worst neighborhoods in Jonesboro, and, uh, and most of the people that's in our church are what you call unchurched people. Our motto at this church is the only time we look down on somebody when we're helping them up. And that's what it's all about, helping somebody up. He's more than a pastor to us. He's a friend to us. And we know our pastor. He don't have to say anything to us. We can tell by the way he act. And we knew something was going on with him, but we didn't know what because he never told us. One time I had to do a eulogy, and it was hurting so bad and walking to the grave site, I almost fell. And I knew right then something went wrong, but I didn't know what it was. And I decided that I needed to get some help. I met Arthur Bradley years ago. He worked at the hospital as a radiology technician and I hadn't seen him in years. So he came back to my clinic with complaints of his, both his legs hurting really bad whenever he walked a very short distance. When it started hurting, it felt like I was having a cramp in my leg. I think Dr. Taylor said that was an artery disease. And he asked me, he said, when you walk, does it hurt? I said, yes. When you stop, does it still hurt? I said, no. His blood flow was very poor in both legs. And then we had done an angiogram, which actually showed that he had total occlusion you know, on the right leg above the knee and also another total occlusion below the knee. Uh, when uh, they found out that I had that, uh, one of my congregation members was saying, well, just cut his leg off. <laughs> And to me, that wasn't funny. And that really scared me because my father had peripheral disease and they amputated both of his legs before he passed away. Arthur had a really complex blockage and fairly calcified, so it was fairly challenging. We had been uh, you know, trying to figure a better way to get across these total occlusions for a long time. So when they came out with the ocelot, or actually in this case, we used the pixel, we were really excited about that. We're used to doing things with contrast and x-rays, and it just puts a whole different perspective on it when we can actually image inside the vessel. So as we push it through the total occlusion, we're not gonna push it outside the vessel and rupture the vessel, we're gonna push it into the plaque. It wasn't bad at all, cause I didn't feel anything, I didn't have no pain, and when I got out of surgery, uh, I noticed I could walk a good distance and it wouldn't hurt anymore, and that's when I felt relieved. We had uh, excellent results. Previously, if it had progressed the way it was, he was probably in the future facing amputation as bad as his blockages were. But right now he's doing great and, and that doesn't look like that's in the picture. That treatment, I think really saved my life. Yeah, cause I'm able to get around, able to do things and enjoy life like I always have. I feel that Dr. Tedder, by him helping him, it can help other people that's going through stuff like that. Patients with severe claudication uh, often very much limit their lifestyle of what they can do. They, they don't walk anymore. They, they just quit doing stuff. And uh, they feel so much better after getting blood flow that they're able to do things and they, they pick up and have a normal lifestyle again. I like to tell Dr. Taylor, job well done. Keep doing what you're doing. It's always about helping the other person. And that's what exactly what he's doing. And it's good to have a friend like that. He's not only a doctor, he's a friend. I pray for him each and every day. Yes. Dr. Taylor did a procedure on both of my legs, and today I can walk, run, jump, skip, hop, 
and I'm not in pain. I'm a new man. Old days have passed away. Behold, all is new. And I feel good this day. Y'all want to see Dr. Tesla before you leave? Uh, probably not. Don't no. think so. No, I don't think so. Y'all want to see him. <laughs> <laughs>